Hi guys, it's Ralph here and I'm here for another video and today I've got a very exciting one but first, this setup is not my perfectious sister it's me trying to um, film before I get ready for school oh, I wish I lived in America, that would be so much easier I know trying to tell you like takes 10 seconds but the joy of wearing your own clothes to school would be amazing. Anyway, uh, back to the video. So today I am going to go on holiday um, to Iron Bridge. If you didn't know where that is, it's in Shropshire, but that probably doesn't mean anything to you if you don't live in England or Wales. It's basically on the border between England and Wales. Not on the border, but it's, it's, it, it's in England, but it's near Wales. Okay, so I'm really excited um, to go, and I should probably have breakfast now, uh, or else I'll be late for school. Bye! See you there! So, where we're going doesn't allow dogs. That is very sad, um, but Lottie is going to have a sleepover at, well, a week. Weekend over sleepover, if that makes sense. Basically, from um, Friday night to um, Sunday morning. Um, with Colin, aren't you? Are you going to go and say hello to Colin? All right, she's tired. It's you shouldn't be that tired, Lottie. It's quarter to eight. I understand if you're tired when I come up to see you at half six. Not up quarter to eight. Oh. But she's all stretched out. You can enjoy your time at Collins, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Look at that long leg. I've just got back um, from school and um, I'm about to pack. I thought I had a suitcase in there. Well, wherever it is, I'll go and find it. So, what do I need to take? Uh, oh, cool. I'll go and get them then. There in. Uh, what else do I need? <sighs> t shirts and shirts. I'll take one t shirt. Um, Okay, what's in here? Where's my yellow? I, I packed all the my clothes. I've got a few things drying, but I have all the essentials. Alright, so now books. Oh, this is going to be hard. Well, I know what main book I want. Okay, Harry Potter and Goblet Fire. That's in my school bag still. So I'll go downstairs and get that. Oh, what other book? Flying Scotsman or History of Railways. Oh, that's a tricky one. So I've decided to bring a torch. Wow, that looks that actually looks blue on camera. So, if I'm looking the other way, it's... I decided on the Scotsman book. Uh, not the Scotsman book. The um, History of Railways book. So, that's good. Anything else? I've put some putty in. That's about it. Yeah. I think that is everything. I'll just put the last item my final pair of socks okay in and okay, now all be good okay come on Ralph do it you right so last minute thing we've done 
Emily's at dance. She should be here in a couple seconds. So we are all ready to go. I'm really excited. Slightly a bit nervous because I really don't like long car journeys. It's 30 minutes. It is 30, three hours of me. Two and a half at the least. So it's a long journey. But I don't mind as long as we get there on time. So uh, we're in the car. We um, sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera, filming, talking, and looking at the screen because the camera switched around at the same time. Uh, makes I'm not and it's quite late. I don't know how to feel. It makes me a bit car sick. But so if I'm not looking directly at it, that's why. So it's a bit dark as you can see. Maybe even a bit blurry because uh, it's. Uh, it's 10 to 8 in January in Northern England, so uh, that's what it's like. But yeah, we're on the way and I'm quite excited. So we just went to a drive through McDonald's and got some um, food. I So we have just arrived at the youth hostel uh, and we are getting settled in. Okay, so um, I have had a lot, talked to a few of my dad's friends downstairs, but they're all grown up conversations, mostly university catch up things and about driving for some reason. Something about uh, the A, something or other being shut past eight o'clock. I don't really know. Um, so I've got upstairs and I'll give you a tour. Well, not really a tour because I haven't really had a look round apart from downstairs where my dad's friends are. So if you didn't know, a youth hostel's like a, a hotel that's not as luxury. We could have t got a more luxury accommodation, but not everyone wanted to pay that and it's only for a few days. So we don't really mind. Okay, so in this room, room 10 we're in, in the uh, Bridge Youth Hostel. I'm up there, my mum's there, my dad's there and my sister's there. Right, uh, I think this is the shower. Wouldn't it make, make more sense for the toilet to be in here in case you need it in the night, but I suppose it's outside. Um, over here is room 11. Okay, and here's 
is the staircase. So I'll show you upstairs in a minute. Uh, downstairs in a minute. I'm just going to have a quick look upstairs. I'm not going to have a look upstairs yet. Tina should be here. I think some of my dad's friends are staying in these rooms. Uh, right. No. The interesting stuff seems to be downstairs. And I don't want to bore you out of. Who was up there? Uh, not watch you. Stop watching this video. So. secret hiding hole that might be interesting um, what oh they're just uh, water closets Oh, you have to go outside, so I'm not going outside. Oh. This is nice. TV. Chairs, tables. Nice. Okay, here's and I decided to come downstairs so I didn't wake anyone in a room up. I brought my history of rare waste up. Oh, it's the wrong way around for you. I'll show you that in more detail in a minute. Um, I looked at the common room, it was a bit dark and I didn't know. So I went in the kitchen and I find space. I'll probably go up in a minute though to see how everyone is doing. I don't know if you heard that, but the cockerel is crazy. So we just went on a 5k park run, it was quite fun. Um, and we got back, we had breakfast, and soon we're gonna go on a five mile walk. Um, I would have preferred the 10, but uh, my sister's fussy about walks, so. Hey ho, what can you do? Off on this walk, there's a youth hostel. There's some of my dad's friends over there. Lots more behind. Ooh, I'm excited. Dale Road is what we've been coming from. As you can see, there's the River Seven. It will separate England and Wales for a while, but 
not at this stage. Obviously, both banks are England and Wales is quite far away. But there, in the distance, there's an iron bridge. It's a bit dark. Maybe better to show you up close. Is the Iron Bridge close up over the River Severn? And the Iron Bridge. Sorry about that, I didn't realize. Long way down. Oh, I my sister didn't mind it. Wow, it's windy up here. You know what, that's anything out of the usual. England, but still. Went round. None of oh, that. It's a bit windy this road. <laughs> wow, we're even higher than the Iron Bridge now. Yeah. Wow. Start of a little stream. I think it might be coming from the drain because there's a uh, metal pipe there. Probably to join the River Severn. We seem to be up more in the countryside. Can't even see the town. We're quite high up. Not exactly a hill or anything, but it's very natural. We seem to be up more in the countryside. Can't even see the town. We're quite high up. Not exactly a hill or anything, but it's very natural. Over there, quite a big drop. We're back in the forest. I'm gonna turn round in a minute. Wow, cool! Wow, whoa, we're high. We're heading back as it would be, even quite a bit longer. Uh, if we didn't, uh, we're gonna. So going back the way we came for a bit, but then we are going to take a shortcut uh, back to uh, Iron Bridge, and after we got around the shops, we still should be back. We kind of went the wrong way. But, well, we had, but we figured out a way to get back to the path. It's actually that one down there, I think. So, we're on our way. There's the seven. Cool. So we are getting back over the Iron Bridge. So, I seem to have the job of photographer. Um, so I'll take a few photos on the uh, little, on the, um, the uh, picture camera, but obviously uh, you'll want to see some of them for the documentary, so some of them I'll do on both. Right, so is that how I'm going to take photos at, on both at the same time? Look about the same. Yeah, I'll try like that. There's chocolate cake, I think. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm going to tell you I found her.
the three. We oh, lost our deposit money. Yeah, a football hit it and smashed. That wasn't me. I can't play football to save my life. But so it wasn't me, just so you know. Okay. It's half seven in the morning in our living room. It was perfectly um, light lights. And now I look really blurry and it's really dark. It's not just on the camera. I mean, obviously it doesn't look blurry, but it's really dark outside. What's happening? What's happening? I don't get it. So it's a new day and I am just trying to get three wins on Sinestro Madness on Geometry Dash in a row. I got two wins in a row and a break than a win before. And I've got lots of win, and I've got win, loss, win, loss, win, loss, 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 win. Um, but I've never- Just put in the last thing in the car. Bye. Bye. Oh, this has been an amazing holiday. Have a good journey. Huh? I'm not looking forward to going back to school. Yeah, it's quite nice. Okay. It's been a fun weekend. And I am not looking forward to going back to school tomorrow after this. From there, a good well, one's two and a half hours. Then, Come on then, let's get in the car. <laughs> it's going to be a long car journey back. Bye. Hopefully Lottie will be back by tonight. If my mum's going to choir in Harrogate because she lives in the Nidderdale. Um, we'll be able to get her back and that'll be really good. And there's the car. Oh. All right. Probably the nearest town, oh no, apart from Nesborough, um, called Weatherby. We haven't been here this often, but um, we always seem to drive through here uh, on the way to Leeds. Well, we don't really drive to Leeds because the train's just better. Um, but like, whenever we're going something, Somewhere that we need to go to Leeds first, we always end up going through here. We're home! After a long three hour car journey, uh, you've seen most of it. Uh, well, all the exciting parts. Well, some of the exciting parts. Well, not much of it at all. Probably about five minutes, I don't know, because I've not added this, this together yet. Uh, but I think. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I think it's quite successful. Uh, so please like uh, and subscribe. And if um, you want, yeah. So more videos are coming on the way. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do um, a video of my next holiday because it's quite a long one and it's going to take lots of storage from my camera but I might do videos with some of my cousins uh, when I'm there I don't know, I've not decided yet so I hope you enjoyed this video bye guys <laughs>